Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some edits you do not want to make in Fortnite and why. Many of the edits I'll be showing in today's video seem like good edits to make, but in reality they help your opponent out more than they help you. The first edit we're going to be discussing is this wall edit right here. This is one of the worst edits you can make in the game and it is actually one of the most common edits that players will make. The reason this edit is so bad is because Fortnite favors the right hand FOV and we'll talk about this a lot more as the video goes on. But when you edit this right here, you're actually cutting off so much of your right hand peak and you're giving way more like FOV and you're giving way more viewing privileges to your opponent. If you notice right here, if you, any of you are familiar with games like Counter-Strike and Valorant, you'll understand the concept of one-way smokes. This edit actually acts almost like a one-way smoke. There's so much of your opponent that you cannot see when you're standing around like the middle of this box when you make this edit. And there is so much more that your opponent can see. This is literally the main reason I came up with this video is because so many players make this edit and it's so bad for you. Instead of making this edit, I would recommend if you really want to make this bottom right edit to make it to your right so that you get better FOV, but this is still not actually a, an edit I would recommend you guys do. For me personally, I would recommend making this archway, which gives you a lot more FOV. However, this archway is kind of a 50-50 with your opponent if they're expecting it, or this completely open wall edit. Next, I want to quickly touch on Mongrel Classics. For those of you unaware, the Mongrel Classic is a move when you take your opponent's wall and then open up and place a ramp and flip it. Now there are actually some very very bad ways to make the Mongo Classic and this is the first one I'm showing you guys right now. The reason this is so bad is because one, you just made the bad edit, which is hurting you because it's on the left side and it's cutting off so much of your FOV. It's actually even harder to make a headshot on your opponent from this angle than it is like with like a completely open wall. Another tip for Mongo Classics is that unless the situation calls for it, you never want to edit your ramp on this side of the box, which is your right hand side. The reason for this is that if an opponent is stuck, gets stuck behind this ramp here, they have an easy right hand peek on you when you can't even see them. Instead, when you're performing a Mongo Classic, you always want to edit the ramp on the left side so that your opponents can't jump peek you. In addition, if they stay behind the ramp, like a little bitch, and you want to kill them and you're running over to jump over and shoot them, this will give you a better right hand peek and a better shooting angle. This next edit is so obviously bad, I can't believe players still use it, but even top pros like Clicks are still abusing this edit. It is the quote unquote peanut butter edit done the wrong way. So for those of you unaware, this is a peanut butter edit. It is really good because it gives you this nice little right hand peek and it's a tight angle as well and your opponents can barely see you and if you do it right, they actually can't at all, but you can shoot them. But a lot of players have been mistakenly doing is editing this the wrong way this really hurts you because in order to get your gun up above this wall to shoot your opponent you actually have to expose your head and your left shoulder first whereas if you do it the other way you actually get your gun up first so you can shoot and they quickly reset without your opponents being able to see you at all i also want to add that the reason clicks gets away with this is because he does it right after taking walls so he's making this edit right after he takes a wall and his opponent is not expecting his wall to be taken at all. So Klitz gets the element of surprise, gets the shot off, and instantly resets before his opponent can actually get the shot. So this peak doesn't actually matter for Klitz in those instances. He could actually be making literally any edit and it would still have the same effect. We're also going to be discussing another one of Klitz's moves, the Klitz window, later in this video. But before we get to that, I do want to discuss another defensive edit that a lot of players make. When someone drops down on their ramp to contest you, don't make this edit. To place the cone above their head this is giving them a very fair fight because it's opening this completely when you should really be at an advantage when opponents are dropping down you want to kill them or shoot them instead of making this edit consider making the peanut butter edit in the top right or even just making a window here where you can cone slide through and block off your opponents now let's talk about the clicks window the clicks window applies when you have an opponent stuck under a ramp in the box like this what clicks will do and what this is actually like the best edit you can make in the game is making this right hand window right here and then sh peeking shooting your opponents and closing the window before they can actually see you this is actually a very effective strategy now i already just revealed what a good strategy was when you have an opponent stuck here but what a lot of players will do is open this up completely this actually is a really bad edit especially if your opponent has their shotgun out because you're giving them a fair fight once again they're in one of the worst positions possible in the game and you're opening an edit that's giving them a fair fight when you should really be killing them instantly without them being able to see you at all. Another horrible edit players will do when they have someone trapped in here is a middle window. 
this middle window actually helps them out so much. If you notice, when I'm standing over here, I actually can barely see them at all, the opponents standing up against the back wall. At most, I'll be only be able to see their feet. In comparison, an opponent over here can actually see like most of your body and maybe even your head without them even being able to see you at all. Now we're going to talk about a slightly different situation. When the ramp is flipped the other way and you have an opponent here, a clicks window is actually not the best idea. Unless you're already up against a wall here, clicks window is not going to give you a proper right hand peek and it's actually going to hurt your chances of beating your opponent because you're actually giving them the best edit. Instead, make this middle window. Now, I just said this middle window wasn't good when the ramp was going the other way, but when the ramp is actually going to your left, this is actually a great edit to make because it gives you this great narrow field of view where you can shoot your opponents without them being able to see you at all. And it should go without saying that this is the worst edit to make in this situation. Now, let's talk about some edits when you're pressuring an opponent's box. After you take their wall, if you're on a ramp, never make a middle window or, or actually any of the side windows at all. You'll notice that when I make this middle window, I basically can't see anything at all and an opponent standing in the back of the box will only have their feet visible to me, giving me no chance at a 200 pump headshot. Instead, after taking their wall, consider doing the peanut butter edits or coming down so that you can make the window actually useful. That's going to be it for today's video guys, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, don't forget to reward me with a like. Subscribe to my channel for more Fortnite competitive tips and tricks. Don't forget to use code JEDI2X in the Fortnite item shop to support me. And peace.